You know, in aerospace machining, conditions are very difficult. Materials are hard, they're often refractory alloys, and precision and accuracy is very, very important. Of course, EDM is a natural process for aerospace machining. Now, when it comes to engine components, hot section components, turbine components, it, the problems are multiplied. Now, I'm with Mark Emerson, he's president of ONA EDM USA. And Mark, I understand that we're standing in front of a piece of equipment which is uniquely suited to aerospace applications. Absolutely. This is our QX4, which is our newest in the, in the line, on the line of what we would traditionally call die sinking EDM machines. Mm -hmm. It uses a Linux-based controller mm -hmm. and 100% digital power supply in it, which means that we can control the, the, the spark, the gap, and all the voltages and amperage down to infinite number of possibilities. And with the aerospace industry and the hardened materials, the harder the materials, the hotter the gases can go, the better the fuel efficiency. So it, do, it does, it creates manufacturing challenges. What we're showing here is a unique application, which is a section of honeycomb seal. And the honeycomb seal needs to be faced, it needs precision, and it needs to be cleaned up and burr free. What we're basically doing here is we're coming in with an electrode, and for lack of a better term, let's call it EDM grinding. We're taking the face of that down, we're leveling that face, and we're cleaning it up so that it can be utilized right off of the EDM machine once it's clean of the oil. What we're showing you here is basically an animated version of that process. Now, accuracy, repeatability, we all know how important that is in any advanced uh, machining process. Uh, how about surface finish? What kind of surface finishes can you achieve using, uh, using dice sinker process? Uh, surface finishes, we can truly go to zero VDI using copper because what you use as your electrode is directly reflective in the workpiece you're using. Mm -hmm. So you can't do that with graphite, but we can go to zero VDI. When it comes to accuracy, we're in the microns. I mean, that's, that's, those are extremely smooth surfaces. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, uh, these, are, these are machined graphite electrodes primarily, but there are other materials you mentioned. You yeah, electrodes we use uh, copper tungsten, silver tungsten, basically any metallic material that can, can withstand heat can be used as an electrode. Copper, primarily people use copper when they need tight, tight surface finishes. Graphite's easier to machine. Copper, to manufacture the electrodes, is another set of challenges because it tends to gum, whereas graphite is, is free machining. Mm -hmm. And what sort of, uh, of alloys, particularly in the aerospace industry, would we be machining? Well, ink canals, uh, basically any, anything that is conductive, we can machine. In fact, we've even come to the point now where we're using the EDM process with some of the ceramics that are out there as well. Ceramics? Yes. Now, ceramics are historically considered insulators. You know, right, but, but the, 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 ceramics, the ceramics that the aerospace companies are developing, which are proprietary, obviously have some sort of uh, conductive material. There's, there's yeah. got to be some conduct conductivity there or else you can't EDM it. But there, there are conductive ceramics that they're using that will help with the heat load mm -hmm. on the part, but we're still able to machine EDM. Now this is, this is sophisticated equipment for sophisticated applications. Now would, for example, a shop that is used to conventional sinker, die sinker EDM, EDM, conventional wire EDM, if they want to step up and chase some of that aerospace business, the hot section business is that? They have to go full blown CNC, multiple, multiple axes. This machine has up to eight axis capability standard in the in the controller basically the machine comes straight from the factory x y z and c four axis if you want to put an a b table a two a b tables on here or one on the head we simply have to insert drive cards into the control and upload your software that's it from a training perspective is it is it reeling the wheel or can you take experience from simpler die sinker machines and apply it here basically we have these controls down to the fact that these machines are run by operators they don't have to be edm experts we've taken a lot of that out of that with our expert burn system basically you're putting in the surface finish you want the material that you've got and loading in the tool path and it's done you do not have to be an experienced edm guy that's you know listening for the sound of bacon frying the machine will look after that himself itself high accuracy high repeatability sinker edm from ONA USA.